Um, so I am a, a Buddhist Dharma teacher and a meditation and mindfulness teacher in the Plum Village tradition of um, Vietnamese Zen and also in the Vipassana tradition um, through Spirit Rock. And um, <clears throat> I am also um, a daughter of an interracial family, parents, uh, black and white from the United States. Grew up internationally, grew up Christian, and um, I'm also a, a sister and an aunt and a, a wife and a, a dog <laughs> lover. We have a dog. Uh, my husband is an Episcopal priest, so we do Buddhist Christian. Um, uh, we have a Buddhist Christian community that we lead. We're also excited about starting a, a Buddhist Christian center um, for people to come and practice. Um, I really would say bodhicitta, the, the, uh, uh, that Sanskrit word, which really you could call the mind of love or um, the, uh, that impulse to uh, walk the path of awakening myself and to dedicate my life to walk, you know, opening that path to, to anyone else who would like to walk it. And so this, this you know, vow of the bodhisattva, of the, the being that's awakening to, to support all beings, to realize their um, deepest, um, highest wisdom and, and discover their, their, their deepest potential. I think that's what really is the force. <laughs> well, I'm really glad that this is the focus of your conference because I think it's so important to um, be with what's difficult and uh, turn towards the, um, the challenging aspects of our own individual lives, but also of our collective lives. So much harm is happening in our world because we're in denial or um, suppressing what's the pain that's in our world. So I love this phrase, um, the only way out is in or through. So that's a big part, I think, of um, the learning that can come in a dark night of the soul, um, the collective soul, the individual soul, is really um, honoring it. It has, it's here for a reason, and um, there are causes and conditions that brought it into being, and we can learn from those, and we can um, we can be enlarged by those, like our. And in fact, you could say too, uh, meeting that and working our way through it is the, the essence of our spiritual path and awakening. Like if we look at big things that happen in, in the lives of the saints, of the bodhisattvas, of great teachers, great beings, they all had to go through this in some form or another. And, um, and, you know, we're at that point, you could say, as a, as a society, and it could, if we can go through it, if we can stay with it, it could lead to some incredible um, maturing and growth. <laughs>